here's an argument that the prosecution tried to present <laughs> yesterday. Vaccinate my turtle. That, <laughs> that Kyle's gun strap. I, I know you're not going to believe me, so I'm going to present it to you. Here's the context, and you can go watch the seven hours yourself. That Kyle Rittenhouse's gun strap should have made him comfortable mm. with someone grabbing his gun. What? Here you go. <laughs> so this is what's going on with Kyle Rittenhouse. All right. This is important here because if you're looking at the leftist media, you will notice a trend. They are admitting they were wrong about everything because they know they can be sued now. So I have seen multiple outlets saying it was initially reported that he uh, t- he had taken weapons across state lines. Mm-hmm. We were incorrect. Yeah, because you were the ones who initially reported it. So there was we initially reported that uh, uh, Rosen uh, Rosenbaum was being chased by Kyle Rittenhouse. We now know that that is incorrect. Yes, because you're the ones who made it up. Uh. There was plenty of footage available. However, there is more footage that was made available. We did our stream. You can go and watch it for four and a half hours. We covered the opening statements. Um, Here's the thing. There's there's a new report that shows the uh, the FBI had HD, uh, well, HD version of the footage right. that we showed on, and we're going to show it to you again, uh, that they did not give the defense and they may have destroyed. Mm. Wow. So keep this in mind, too. I'm about to show you this footage. The prosecuting attorney said there's FBI footage, too, that the public has not seen, which we think will show that uh, Rittenhouse was chasing Rosenbaum. Uh, first off, why was that not given to the defense? That's not how this yeah. works with evidence. Yeah. That's how it's absolutely supposed to happen. Why did the FBI withhold this information? And by the way, it doesn't help the prosecution at all. When you watch this, it's very, very clear that Kyle Rittenhouse was chased into a kill trap by Rosenbaum yeah. and the uh, the man who fired the first shot. This is the kind of footage that the FBI was sitting on that could easily result in the dismissal of all charges, exoneration, and hopefully an apology. The FBI is not your friend. The FBI is using this as a political tool. They had this footage this whole time. If they were interested in making sure that the guilty are put behind bars and that the innocent go free, this is something that not only would have been in in line with precedent as far as presenting evidence, both sides Mm -hmm. uh, in in a court case need to be able to review all evidence, but it also would be the right thing to do. So... um, Here's the non-HD version, which is heavily edited. Yeah. The only one that exists, according to the FBI, which we played on Tuesday. So you see, they're yelling, get him, get him, get him. Rittenhouse is saying, friendly, friendly, friendly. And that is Rosenbaum, who now runs out from behind the car. See, to chase Kyle Rittenhouse. Do you see that right there? He's clearly chasing Kyle Rittenhouse. And his... Rosenbaum's last words, keep in mind, serial pedophile, to, an un- to a minor were, fuck you. Yeah. Nice. How's that for irony? Yeah. By the way, so, so there's context here, too. In that last part of the video. <laughs> he forgot to say, I want to. Fuck me? I totally missed no, 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 no. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I mean, will you? <laughs> Just for context, he was running between cars. On the other side of those cars was an even larger crowd of people. Mm. And you could see the guy chasing him, Rosenbaum, closing the distance. Well, what you can see is Kyle Rittenhouse is running. He's and then you away. see Rosenbaum go between the cars. That's where he puts a face covering on, a T-shirt, whatever it is. We don't know why. Could be to cover his identity. Could be because all of a sudden he's like, oh, COVID's still real. Yeah. And then he decides <laughs> to run around the car and chase him. So the, From behind, yeah. From behind. And then a gunshot is fired. And the guy's yelling, get him, get him, get him. And Rosenbaum's last words are, fuck you, as Kyle Rittenhouse turns around and hears gunshots. Come on, guys. And yeah. this is something that the FBI always had access to? Yeah. And by the way, when asked about this, the FBI said that they um, lost. Yeah. Whoops. We lost it. We're well, look, FBI you're either works. incompetent or dishonest. Take your pick. But uh, you shouldn't be in charge of anything. So <laughs> the prosecuting attorney, Binger, uh, these are some of the arguments that were made. He was trying to admit a cell phone video with biased commentary uh, from a witness. Yeah. So I want to set this up here really quick. It's been a bad day pretty, for the arguments uh, from the prosecuting attorneys. It's weird. Uh, the prosecutor <laughs> tried to justify. They were basically saying, okay, here's some cell phone footage. And the cell phone footage now, because there's so much footage out there that yeah. shows this case for what it is, has someone providing commentary to try and you know, create a biased slant. Right. Uh, and the prosecutor tried to justify it, saying that the judge had admitted uh, Rosenbaum's criminal record. Anyway, uh, Bruce Schroeder shut down the prosecutor, the judge. When he was, he was, there was an objection. Like, yeah. hey, hold on a second. Just show the footage. Don't show commentary. Right. It's like you don't, yeah. you don't admit MSNBC covering Rittenhouse. You, exactly. You show the raw <laughs> exactly. footage. You know, when the FBI can find it, look behind the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, assholes. I mean, I just, aren't you the F- <laughs> FBI? You're the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Investigate it. Find out where the tape is. <laughs> Would you record it on beta? <laughs> 
tape just got Maybe. ruined. We loaned it out. Oh, and Americans now, the Republican it. Party is dangerous because they're sowing mistrust in our institutions. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. It must be. Yeah. Sure, it's not the institutions sowing right, mistrust right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. themselves. Yeah. yeah, it must be, uh, it must be uh, uh, Chris Christie's fault. Yeah. Well, and also give it to the defense when they ask for it. Yeah. Let's not wait until the last minute to give it to them. It's it's very clear, but this judge yeah, is not taking way. the crap, so he uh, shut down the prosecution when they were trying to present this biased evidence. And just I just just watch it; it's great. I understand the objection. I, the problem is, is there are portions of this that, that don't have anything to do with the defendant that distor- describe the scene, and I'm trying to give the jury that's a hearsay. Sense of the scene. It's hearsay. I'm not this introducing is... anyone's statements for the truth of the matter asserted. I'm introducing yeah. it for the state of mind of the defendant as he watches the If it's the not for the truth of the matter asserted, it's irrelevant. So there's two different parts <laughs> of the rule. One of them is the defendant has to have been aware of the decedent's violent acts or uh, turbulent behavior. <laughs> um, in the other one, it's circumstantial evidence of the victim's violent behavior at the time of the incident. That's what I admitted it on. Now, one of these, uh, this was on CNN, uh, Jeffrey Tubin and uh, another attorney there. He was masturbating and, on a Zoom uh, call. <laughs> yes. The comment was made that the ruling was incomprehensible. And I think they obviously are not familiar with this rule. I, uh, yeah, on CNN, is that what counts for news? No, it's just Jeff, Jeff Tubin whack at it. This is why the left hates this judge, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because he distrusts right. the media. If someone has mistrust of the media, yeah. you're automatically labeled right wing. And by the way, he probably is more yeah. of a center right, I would imagine. Yeah. Why? Because he doesn't like CNN. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like stupid legal analysts who don't understand how to read the next paragraph. Well, he, it makes he likes it, the law. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it really easy to see your, your, your kind of team jersey. Now, when people talk about yeah. pol- polarization in the United States, I go, you know what? If I see a guy driving in his car by himself, double masked, I know he's my enemy. <laughs> yeah, I know he's probably not going to be hanging yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, it's like, where are you, you going to catch that from? Yeah, yeah. I just you. know, but, but I also know that that guy wants to mandate that I vaccine my uh, 12 week old twins. Yeah. So, you know what? Uh, no. So uh, on Tuesday, when we live streamed the opening arguments, this is what this is so bad from the prosecution. We were joking about how it almost seemed like the prosecution, because the pros. Keep in mind the reason that the left has had to apologize to all of these outlets, all of the YouTube channels, all CNN, MSNBC. The reason they had to apologize and say, "Okay, we were wrong about the fact that a gun was carried across state lines." Okay, we were wrong about the fact that uh, uh, Rittenhouse was chasing Rosenbaum, which I know a lot of you here may not know because you don't watch a lot of leftist news, which I encourage you to do. That's why all references are available at ladderwithcredit.com. They had never seen the footage, which we have shown you all of it, yeah. all of it for a long time. So the reason the left had to apologize is because these facts were brought to light by the prosecution. The people who are trying to put Kyle Rittenhouse away <laughs> had to say, well, he, you know, he didn't bring a gun across state lines. Uh, by the way, Rosenbaum was chasing him, but, and when we were watching it live, it was almost like we had, we had stumbled yeah. into bizarro world. I thought maybe the prosecutor, maybe there's a slow starter, like yeah. Joe Frazier. Yeah, he'll get it. He's got a plan. Takes a while to find his rhythm, you know? Uh, I'm getting better. No. Here's an argument that the prosecution <laughs> tried to present yesterday. Vaccinate my turtle. That, that Kyle's gun strap. I, I know you're not going to believe me, so I'm going to present oh. it to you. Here's the context, and you can go watch the seven hours yourself. That Kyle Rittenhouse's gun strap should have made him comfortable mm. with someone grabbing his gun. What? Here you go. And it's showing you and the other individuals uh, at the 63rd Street car source. Is that right? Yes. Are you wearing the sling in that photograph? Yes, it appears and is that sling holding that gun in the front portion of your body? Yes. Does the defendant have his sling on with his gun being held similar to you? Yes. Was that sling strong enough to hold the weight of that gun? Yes. Was that strong was that sling strong enough so that if someone tried to pull that gun away, the gun would be held to your body? Yes. I have nothing further. Can you redirect? Can we cross rather? <laughs> he considers that a win. Objection. Like, no. I rest my case. By the way, who was that witness? Was that Adam Ruins case law? <laughs> wow, that was an amazing maneuver. Of no so further questions. What? Well, uh, so he did, in fact, grab his gun. Yeah, he went for his gun. I rest my case. Yeah. Here's another argument the prosecution made. And this matters. It just it just shows you how paper paper thin. There's nothing that they have here. Uh, 
the guy tries to insinuate that Kyle's friend, there the guy who looks like college humor's Adam yeah. Ruins, case law, <laughs> uh, being attacked on a roof by rioters is the same as Kyle on the ground being attacked and bludgeoned in the head. But here's the thing. Even then, in trying to draw this false equivalency of like, well, you didn't think there were, you needed deadly force when you were on a roof, he still actually, he, just like he said riots, he's like, why didn't you feel the need to protect yourself? Watch what he says. He uses the word, why didn't you feel the need to protect yourself when they were just throwing their little gas bombs? I swear to you. Watch it. <laughs> Mr. Richards questions that someone is throwing some sort of water bottle or gas bomb up on the roof. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Very different. <laughs> when these folks were doing these things to you and the other members of your group, did you point a gun at anyone? No. Did you fire at anyone? No. Why not? Because there's no need to. I mean... Did you feel that by these restraints. people throwing rocks at you or throwing a gas bomb at you <laughs> that you were in danger? Rocks and gas Just a little bit. I mean, there. pain, yes, but not danger. I knew it wasn't going to kill me. So you felt like it wasn't enough to use deadly force? Correct. No, for the I, no, like first I, off, I, uh, a water bottle or a gas bomb is not huh. a mundane detail, Michael. It's <laughs> like paper one plane is or going to a Justin bomb. Bieber concert yeah. because yeah, he yeah. won't do an encore. The other is something the penguin uses to take over Gotham. And so his point is, he's trying to say you didn't you feel the need to use sports. deadly force. He was on the roof. There's a huge difference between that yeah. and being on the ground with someone hitting you in the head, yeah. kicking you in the head, and then someone else coming up with a gun to shoot you in the head. He's building up their restraint. He I, just he just said. We didn't feel like that was point. deadly. Yeah. Later on, when you're being chased, yeah. beaten, and a gun shot at, that's yelled a great at. point. Yeah. Like, so uh, when they were throwing water bottles and gas bombs and zip guns and chains up on the roof, <laughs> you didn't feel the need to uh, defend yourself or use deadly force? No, we didn't. Oh, so you issued uh, restraint until you were down on the ground being beaten within an inch of your life? <laughs> yes, sir. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> now, when he pulled a gun on you, was it a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It was dark. Could it have been a footline? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it was an AR-15. How could you tell? Because I know the model. It's a Daniel Defense. And I oh. Could, uh, oh, oh, oh! Well, big man, you are. Could have been a water bottle. I don't could have been a water bottle. I don't know. They get clever with those new water bottles. You ever see that uh, Life Water? <laughs> Has a squeeze tube. You don't even have to open the cap. <laughs> Here's his next argument. <laughs> Hand to God. <laughs> Stupid. All references are available. <laughs> Hand to God. Real footage. You're not going to believe what I'm about to say. The sketch? No. <laughs> he argues that Rosenbaum, you know, and you see in that footage that he ducks behind the car yeah. and puts something over his face, right? Mm -hmm. So the second he sees Kyle Rittenhouse, <laughs> right, he hides Kyle Rittenhouse is coming, covers something over his yeah. face before him and his buddy, you know, his guy in coordination, shoots the gun, mm -hmm. and he yells... Fuck you. Pardon my language, but I want to quote this accurately. Right, yeah. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. It was the a code word. He's arguing that the reason he went and decided to Lawrence of Arabia his face was uh, because he was distressed from COVID. Here. Uh -huh. I think you indicated that his face was obscured by the shirt. Mm. Is that right? Yes. Were you wearing a mask that night? Yes, yeah. You could tell by my voice. I was muffled the entire night, yeah. And this was in August of 2020 when there was a lot of COVID and, going around, correct? Yes, yeah. Is it fair to say that a lot of people that night had face coverings? Yes. Yeah, by the way, uh, the prosecution also blamed the emotional uh, stress of COVID for this. Shoot me, nigga! Look, that's what, it's a <laughs> symptom. Yep. You must have had one of those breakthrough cases. One of those. <laughs> Very distressed. <laughs> Yeah, that would make sense, prosecuting dummy, if he wasn't seen all night yeah. repeatedly yelling the N-word without a face covering. This is the prosecution smoking gun here. Like, they really were smug about this. This is like their, the glove that doesn't fit. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to say, right, that Kyle was chasing Rosenbaum down. Remember, during the original stream, they said they had FBI footage that showed yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse was chasing Rosenbaum. The prosecution's own witness... Oh said no and refuted this. Here you go. <laughs> Would you agree with me, Mr. Washington, that as you pass by the defendant and Joseph Rosenbaum heading south on Sheridan Road, that the sequence of individuals is Mr. Rosenbaum is further south ahead of the defendant, Mr. Rittenhouse? Correct, yes. And you were asked by uh, Attorney Binger in terms of the direction that people are heading. 
that Mr. Rosenbaum is further south than Mr. Rittenhouse in that picture, right? Yes. Okay. You'd agree on that video, it doesn't appear that Mr. Rittenhouse is chasing Mr. Rosenbaum, does it? No, it doesn't. It appears they, like multiple other people, are simply walking south. Agreed? Yes. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh. And the prosecutor's not even smart enough to go, shit. He's going like, <laughs> well, that's, I told you I had an ace in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, getting better. Witness. <laughs> who's the assistant next to him, that big dude, who's just like writing stuff down like, we're not going to win this? <laughs> okay, you guys can cut. Is it me? Look, I, I want to know if I have a blind spot. Now, keep in mind. I have watched the arguments from the left on the Kyle Rittenhouse thing, and I yeah. just will say, it's just lies. I'm like, well, they say Kyle Rittenhouse was chasing him. Well, that's we a lie. They say that Kyle Rittenhouse uh, brought a firearm across state lines. Well, that's just a lie. They say that no one, uh, that he was the one who fired the first shot. That's just a lie. I've watched all of the raw footage, not the one, that, not the raw footage that the FBI has destroyed, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, I just don't see it. You comment below. Let me know what, what you think is even the possibility of a jury coming back saying yeah. guilty. Maybe on the firearm charge. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.